Diffuse alopecia areata is the second important uh, differential diagnosis, but it is rather rare. But it is noteworthy that this variant of diffuse alopecia, uh, of alopecia areata, which occurs in 2% of patients with alopecia areata, is predominantly seen in women older than 40 years. And it is usually more dramatic than a chronic telogen effluvium. And in some cases, it may also lead to whitening of the hair overnight. To make a differential, differential diagnosis between telogen and diffuse telogen effluvium, um, female pattern hair loss, and alopecia areata, use your dermatoscope. In diffuse telogen effluvium, you will not see anything <coughs> conspicuous. In female pattern hair loss, you will see a diversity of hair shaft diameters. And in alopecia areata, you will see yellow dots as first described by Antonella Tosto. Now I would like to comment on cyclicity of hair loss in women. And I have uh, noticed that my patient, female patients, they tend to come in and complain of more hair loss whenever my Jack Russell Terrier molts. <laughs> and so I thought there must also be a seasonality in hair growth and shedding in women. And I've seen in the literature that there have been some reports on few patients, predominantly men, that have shown that there is seasonality of hair loss. We have studied over 60 years, over 800 women, and we have very clearly shown fluctuations in intelligent rates depending on the season. 